All right, Bob's coming into my guard position. A lot of times you'll tend to cross the legs over like this to kind of control them. If they have a lot of mass here, sometimes it's hard to cross the ankle, so you may just be controlling it high up by the armpit and just kind of hugging the heels in and hooking them in from here. What we're gonna do from this side is I'm gonna pick an arm side. So I'm gonna choose the furthest side and I'm gonna pull his arm across like this, controlling his elbow. And if I can grab his material, I'm gonna hold on to the material from here or grab his wrist side. If I choose to grab this side, this hip or this foot is gonna go right on his hip. That kind of lengthens and stretches him out because that gives me a better straight arm bar, which is what I want. So the next thing I'm gonna worry about is this foot here. I'm gonna get it as high up as I can to his uh, shoulder armpit area. Sometimes you gotta kind of scoot out a little bit to get it from here. So I'm kind of clamping my feet and I'm keeping pressure so he doesn't move to that side. Since I have this in pretty good grip, I'm gonna take this hand and kind of push the head away like this because a lot of times they'll start to mount me. So I might push the head this way or I might push out with the hips a little bit more and this keeps him from coming up on me. Sometimes they'll tuck the head in really tight and it's hard for me to get this leg around his head. So I push the head away and that allows me to get this leg now slide it around. So what I do with this heel is I clamp it down. I clamp it down so there's a lot of pressure pushing down through my calves. My knees are close together and I still have an arm bar here. Then what I'm going to do is if he decides to stand up a little bit, come up on your knees, then I'm going to lift my hip up and arm bar him from here. If he stays low and I'm able to push him to the side, then I have the motion here which is a straight arm bar. Come back on top. I'll show you from the other side. So again, I pulled Bob into my guard, crossed my legs, or I kept them in tight here. I choose to go for this side this time, which means what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the elbow and the sleeve, and I'm gonna cross it over like this. So I have the control of this. I'm not worried about the other hand right now. He's kind of posting anyway in this case. This foot on this side is gonna come up to the hip. That way I can stretch him out and make the arm straighter if I need to, if he has a bent elbow. The other foot's gonna come up high. Sometimes I'll scoop my hips out to give myself a little more spacing. Since I have a good control here, this hand here is gonna push the head away and that allows me to get this foot over here because if it's tucked in low, I can't get this foot away and the move's not gonna work. So I need to push his head so I can get this leg around. If he goes up on his knees, right, I'll just lift up the hips. If I can roll him, he's gonna roll now. Then I'm gonna keep my knees tight together the feet close to the head, the thumb facing toward my feet, and I lift up here. You can also put it under the armpit and do the versions here. In a street fight, you have a lot more options. 